88% of bettors have put their money on Florida State beating Clemson this weekend. Now, Florida State currently is a two and a half point favorite heading into this big matchup against Clemson. And this is one of the biggest games of week four in college football because this is the game to decide who is the top dog in the ACC because many people prior to this season started to have picked the Seminoles to win the ACC conference. But for Florida State to be the man, they got to beat the man. And they haven't beaten Clemson yet under Mike Norvell. Last year, when they played Clemson, it wasn't really close. But this year, the tables have really turned. And we saw what Florida State did to LSU in week one. They pretty much body bagged them. They blew them out. It wasn't really close after halftime. Now, they nearly escaped Boston College, but maybe that was a look-ahead game. Maybe they just had their eyes set on Clemson and they overlooked Boston College. But for Florida State and the people that are picking Florida State to win this game, I would be extremely cautious because, you see, I don't think Florida State is the lock to win this game that people think they are. People think that it would be a surprise if Clemson wins this game, and it really wouldn't be. Honestly, you see, although Florida State is a more talented team than Clemson, Clemson, one thing that they do best under Dabo Sweeney is play with that underdog mentality. And you see, really early, before Clemson became the big name program that they are today, when they were coming up, when they didn't have any championships or Dabo Sweeney didn't win any national championships and they were on the chase, he always embodied being the underdog. He always loved pushing the underdog mentality. That was his way of getting those Clemson players motivated for games. And he hasn't been able to do that in a very long time until really this year. And this is the perfect week for Dabo Sweeney to really dig into that underdog personality and really try to get into that role of playing spoiler and exceeding expectations because most people think that Florida State's going to beat Clemson and this game possibly could get out of hand because Clemson, their offensive line doesn't really look great. We saw them get body back by Duke in week one, who now apparently looks like a football school. So for Clemson, they got some severe problems offensively. You remember back in the days when Clemson used to be wide receiver U. They had Sammy Watkins, DeAndre Hopkins, Mike Williams. They used to always have an NFL wide receiver, and they haven't had one since Justin Ross. They don't have any dynamic wide receivers who you really can look at and say, oh, yeah, like, this dude is always going to be that go-to guy for K. Klupnik. FSU has a really good secondary, and they got a really good front seven. And if Clemson doesn't get good wide receiver play in this game, it could be a long afternoon for them. But the good thing is that LSU is able to get some big plays on this defense. And as long as his offensive line can give K Club Nick some time to throw, they could be in for a really big game, possibly. Because K Club Nick, I think, is a pretty solid quarterback when he's on fire. If he can start the game out hot, I think that Clemson could have a pretty good day offensively. But Dabo Sweeney, he really loves being the underdog. And I think that he's really going to be pushing that message all this week throughout practice heading up into this game. He's going to be saying, you know, like everybody seems to forget that we are the defending ACC champions and everybody seems to just think that Florida State is about to win this thing and we're about to roll over just because we have a philosophy of not wanting to use the transfer portal. And, you know, we're about to go out here and show these people that we're Clemson, we're Clemson football. Not only are we still the best team in the ACC and we're going nowhere, but we also are still a legitimate contender for the college football playoffs. You know, Clemson, I think that they should feel as hungry as ever heading into this matchup against Florida State. Dabo Sweeney, he's going to have this team ready to play. I don't think this game is going to be a blowout. Yeah, Clemson may not be as good as what LSU is, but Florida State, anytime they play a team like 
Dabo Sweeney, there's a possible chance that maybe they could end up having a little bit of a sloppy performance. It's been a long time since Florida State has been in a spotlight this where everybody has had their eyes on them and everybody has had nothing but good things to say about them. Yeah, they're locked in and they have looked good against LSU, but this is Clemson. They beat LSU last year and they lost to Clemson last year. And Clemson still does recruit at a pretty high level. They do have a good enough roster to beat Florida State. It's just that with everything Florida State has brought in from the transfer portal, they just look like they're going to overwhelm Clemson. But Dabo Sweeney, I don't question if he's going to have this team ready to play this game. Now, I still like Florida State to win, but I don't think it's a full guarantee. And if I had to give you guys my confidence level about Florida State's ability to win this game one through five, I probably keep it at a two or three, probably a three, because you see, I do think that Florida State is a better team, but I do think Clemson has a pretty good defense. And I think that Dabo Sweeney is going to have this team playing at a really high level. They're going to be super motivated. And I don't think we're going to see the same Clemson in this game that we did against Duke. I think that Clemson is going to give Clemson, Clemson is going to give Florida State a dogfight in this game.